A live look at Durham here tonight where a local staple has officially reopened. We're talking about Nana's. It's reopening its doors for the first time since the pandemic. So this is what it used to look like, and here's what it looks like now. It has new ownership and a whole new look. WRL's Destiny Patterson is at Nana's where they are welcoming guests back. This restaurant has been closed since the pandemic, and tonight is grand reopening night. It was once a really big part of this community, and the owners say they plan to reignite that feeling. From customer. I also lived right down the street on University, so it was like a nice, convenient place to go to. To owner. Matt Kelly says restaurants like Nana's are what keep neighborhoods together. Restaurants in communities are important at all different levels. So he took the opportunity to bring back the spirit of Nana's. Kelly took over the space from chef Scott Howell after it shut its doors in 2020. It's since had a complete renovation. I've had a lot of people come through the front door and knock and ask, you know, when we're going to open. Getting to where they are now, the restaurant has had its own challenges. One of the biggest ones being flooding. The city addressed that issue about four years ago. I mean, if we haven't seen anything in three or four years, I feel pretty good. I feel okay about it. Instead, the focus is on welcoming customers to a resurrected dining experience. That starts in the kitchen, Stephen Blake's element. There's many different components on a plate, and if we all have a little touch, it becomes, you know, ours. A new approach to what he calls the Nana's philosophy, dishes with fresh ingredients inspired by a family cookbook. There's like a, a legacy we have to carry forward. A legacy they hope to reignite and reimagine. Destiny Patterson, WREL News, Durham.